Yeah, cause that that's something I noticed um on Rich Route, like you ain't just used the typical like piano, eight oh eights and yeah, organ type beats, nothing. like you use actual like real live yeah, hard ass production. Like, like, I was just talking to my man about that, he like, bruh, you ain't use no DMV beats. Like I ain't hear not one DMV type beat, like no shit that I hit from a regular artist yeah. on your tape at all. I was like, cause I ain't going that route. I don't want to be looked at as like that. Like, yeah. And plus, I can't lie, that shit is like that's just oversaturated right now. Like, man, it's too many niggas doing shit that sound. Down, like, bro, nobody want to hear that yeah. shit, bro. Like, ain't, niggas that, oh, they don't yeah. hear that shit, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. It, it was hard when yeah, it first came out, but like, out. It's, it's too many people doing it. Like, yeah. you know, it, it, they they done ran it. They killed it at this point. It's dead. Yeah, bro. So shit, let's talk about Rich Rell. You dropped that on 420, man. What, what made you want to drop it on 420? Was there any reason? Or? <laughs> Long live Brill. We was high as fuck. Long live yeah. Brill. That's my man, Brill B-Day. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. from the mile past. Long live Brill. I had to drop it on his day, like, dedication okay. to him type the shit. The whole time we was high. But we was high as fuck, too. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it was like, it was a mix of them. Like, the whole tape, like, the whole, it was just a, bro, the whole process. Uh, I, don't, I ain't trying to promote no drugs now. We promoting drug use, bro. Oh but, yeah, but yeah, God, it is what it is. Like, I had to get in my element. Like I had to yeah, really go drink. to another level with that shit. So I was like drugging hard, bro. We was in this bitch high as hell every night, yeah. <laughs> making you hit a shit, making yeah, bangers, yeah, like yeah. getting that shit out. Everything I'm feeling, getting that shit out. Yeah, I'm on drug. I want to say um, that song I want. I want is on there, right? Yeah, for sure. Oh uh, yeah, and you had a you had a lawn where on the hook you saw my want in a big house. You want a big car, fast car. Um, you wanna put your hood on all that shit? Like, what when you get that first big bag? Like, what's what's the first thing you doing from that song? Like, out of all your wants, what, what's the first thing you doing? First thing I'm doing, I I don't know. I'm a I'm a I'm a. I it depends on the bag, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it depends on the bag. If it's a big big bag, I'll dribble them. Half of that going to the family. I'm making yeah. sure they straight houses, cars, we go out. Yeah. College for my little sisters and them, little cousins, respect, all that shit. Make respect. sure that shit straight. Yeah. Then, I'm really, like, I be telling motherfuckers, like, I ain't really trying to do the rap to be the next Jay-Z. I'm trying, I do it for the, I ain't gonna say for the money, but I'm just trying to do it because I know I can make money off this shit and I could benefit other ways. Yeah. So, I'm gonna take that bag, like I say, help the family. Yeah. Of course, invest in the music. I gotta put in the music. And I'm a, I'm doing other little shit, businesses, clothing, yeah. and shit like that. I'm trying to really, I'm talking about architecture, all that shit, yeah. bro. I'm in the shit like that. I'm trying to really make put that money, money in that flip, shit. You yeah, know what flip saying? that shit for real, bro. Oh, all right, for sure. And then um, another line, actually, another line off that same song I want is actually my favorite line off the song. Like, I want to post this as a status, but I want to do the interview first. For sure. He's like, man, I ain't tripping about losses that comes with winning. Nah, for real. Um, like, how'd you, how'd you develop that mentality? And, like, you know, just talk about that quote, because I just fuck with that quote. That's a hard-ass quote, you know what I'm saying? I had to really, like, understand that, like, I had to, like, because at first I used to, like, take little losses and shit. I used to be like, damn, like, why me? Like, what the fuck I, what I do to do this? Like, why yeah, I got to yeah. keep taking these? But then I look like, okay, I took this loss to know not to move like that again. Yeah, I gotta yeah. move this way. Or oh, I did this so I can know like, all right, don't go that way with it, go this way with it. So yeah, it yeah. shopping me up and made me know like, okay, all this shit happened for a reason. Like, And I be looking like some of the shit I went through, if I would've never went through that and never, the shit never happened, I wouldn't have this to talk about or this to feel yeah, or this to go through exactly. or this, to, you know? So that shit really count. Like, losses really matter for Exactly. Real. If you don't and know tonight, you ain't gonna know nothing. Exactly. And the, you know, the greatest winners have taken some losses. I know Floyd went 50 and 0, but before he went 50 and 0, he took that L at the Olympics. Even though they kind of cheated that nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you he, still took the, he still took the L, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he won from there, you know what I'm saying? And even Kobe, LeBron, Jordan, uh, just people in life, like yeah. you're saying, just like, like everything you just explained. So I definitely rock with that. Um, another song off the tape I fuck with was Free Rallo, you know, yeah, sure. uh, I fuck with Rallo, man, like, um, and I like how you, you know, the, the melodic um, mm -hmm. vibe you got on there, the auto-tune you use, you know, right. like, what ways did Rallo inspire you, and, you know, why'd you kind of want to make a song um, about him? It was like, oh, the dribble, uh, the song wasn't even supposed to, it wasn't even like, I want, like, I ain't going there, like, okay, today I'm about to make a song about Rallo, because, yeah. like, I don't even go about that when I make music, it's just, like, off the vibe I'm feeling, yeah. but it's like, that bar I caught, I was like, one of them racks, let's show my partners. I feel like Rollo, I'm trying to buy them my apartments. Like, yeah. I felt that, like, I'm like, okay, like, I really watched, bruh, like, 
regular street nigga, even yeah. before he even got the rap money and all that shit, bro, really taking care of his people, like, yeah. putting on for his people, making sure his people good, putting them in position and all that, making them look sweet so he can look sweet. Like, yeah. that's what it's about. Like, it be niggas who get the money and want to look sweet and have their men just in a way yeah. or not even care for their people. You got to make your people look good because at the end of the day, without your people, you ain't nothing. Like, yeah, exactly. They ain't going like, to respect you if you ain't got nobody behind you. You can't be, niggas think you could be solo macho, man. You can't be that, bro. You got to yeah. have something behind you. You got to have a foundation. You ain't nothing without no foundation. Nah, you got to make right. sure foundation solid. And I respect the bro because he made sure his people was good no yeah. matter what. Like, or. Hurry, Christmas all that by moms and them cars. Yeah. Everybody, the whole hood, we looking sweet. Like and he not even Christian. This nigga yeah. Muslim, Muslim not even Christian. Like, yeah. like he, 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 he on that. He loves yeah. people, and I'm, I felt that. Like I, I was on that vibe. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. how I'm feeling. Like yeah. I want to do that with the money. I'm trying to take care of everybody. Yeah, nah, me too, man. That shit was real. Like he bought a whole yeah. apartment complex. Oh, that's whole. Apartment. Like everybody saying that joke for free. Nah, like for real. That's that, that's, that's major. boss. You, like that's, you, that's major. Yeah. Like, that's major. Like, niggas don't do that. Like that's, that's real. Just, yeah. So shit, um all right, then another song was uh Doubted Me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You was talking about how you feel like you wanna crash out sometimes on the hook. Like what do you do to like keep yourself from crashing out? Like No promoting it, but I it's like I run the drugs, like that's yeah. the only thing, like I gotta get high, like yeah. If I ain't high, I be stressed out about shit, overthinking. Yeah. But I be trying to break that shit. I ain't trying to keep running to the drugs. That's so why, like, I try to devote it to music now. I can get the shit out yeah. of my music. So I use that now. Like, I run in my music and just, like, ex kid, bruh, be nice. It's been days I call, bruh, three in the morning, four in the morning. Bruh, I'm stressing, bruh. Like, I'm going through it. I, yeah. I need to come in there. Like, here, come on, bruh. You know, the yeah. door open. I'm in here. See, but that, that's, that's, that's something else that, you know, that, that's. That's good that you have is you know having him here where yeah, somebody sure. that y'all you know y'all can at least speak to each other about issues because you know yeah, keeping all that shit bottled in that shit driving nigga fuck crazy bro. you know what I'm saying and it's crazy bro because yeah. this shit I tell bro I don't even tell my right hand man like I'm yeah, comfortable yeah, yeah. bro because like he like I say he opened me up in this new lane of music that I'm doing like yeah, he the yeah. reason I really found the sound like I've been always looking for it, but I couldn't find it yeah, like yeah. bro bring that shit out like he showed me like bro you could do this shit you just gotta try like. So now I feel comfortable, bro. Like, I can tell him anything. However I'm feeling, what do you want? Call bro the dribble. Yeah, what do you This how it is. Da, da, da. And he uh, give me the right answer. Yeah. What I'm looking for. And he understand that nigga. He really know like yeah. what I'm going through and shit. So I fuck with him. Oh, for sure, for sure. All right. Um, now, what is your biggest motivation? Or who is your biggest motivation? What or who? I got a couple motivations. Like people's wise. I say my mother. Yeah. My little cousin. I ain't gonna lie, my A and I, bro, fresh right here. Yeah. He a big motivation to me, cause for one, we from the same neighborhood, we grew up the same, so I know everything I've been through, he been through. And yeah. bro, like, he ain't, he ain't fall for the fool's move, bro. Got his own mind. He yeah. do what he want to do. He know what he devoted to, and that shit motivation like a nigga. Hey, all that shit around him and really say, man, fuck that shit. I'm trying to do this, like, yeah. if bro I realize, I tell a nigga, nah, I'm not doing that, nigga. Go and you a wild. I don't give a fuck. I'm not <laughs> doing it. Like, I'm not on that. Yeah. And I respect that. Yeah. Like, that's real motivation. Like, you stand on principles. I respect niggas like that. Yeah. Like, it's like I say, my mother, my cousin, bro, and it's like. My father, like, hearing shit about yeah. my father, that shit motivated me. Like, it's a lot of shit, like, that really motivated niggas yeah. keep going for real. Shit. And wait, how old are you? I'm 23. I just turned 23, May 20, 31st. 23, damn. Oh, yeah, you, you seem real wise for, yeah. for somebody your age. I and like, that, bro. I swear. And, you know, like, not to be, like, uh, insensitive, but, like, to grow up without a father and be that wise, like, wh where'd you kind of develop that wisdom? Like, who, who'd you kind of get that game from? I ain't gonna lie, like, I got it from a couple of people, like, I say my stepfather, he told me a yeah. lot. Oh, yeah, the stuff. Okay, yeah, I got yeah. stepfather. I had a stepfather in my life from about nine years old. Okay, so, okay, now, okay. so I ain't gonna say I was fatherless, but yeah, yeah. like I ain't have the actual my oh, yeah, dad. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so, yeah, like this, yeah. But I said like my grandfather, he was in my he in my life as well. Yeah, my yeah. grandfather, I talked to him a lot. Yeah. Uh, my other grandfather, like I got, it's, it's, it's family, a lot of family, but most of it, I'm gonna keep it hundred, it's come from self. Like, yeah. it'd be me, like I bottle up, like I say, but I'd be talking to myself, I'd be like, okay, let me, how I'm gonna figure this out, how yeah. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I can to conclusions and understand, like, this, why this, and this, what I gotta do this, and this, and that, so. For sure, yeah, nah, you definitely seem like you, you got your head on all right, man. 